Good morning, y'all. <laughs> Happy Saturday. I am working on these jumbo braids right now. And I am using this hair African collection jumbo braid 1B30. This is where I'm at so far. I just wanted to come in and show you guys how I'm doing this. I am cutting the hair in half. Now that I've started, I kind of wish I had left them whole because I would have liked them to be longer. This one's already prepared with the ends. I already pulled apart. I'm hoping I won't need them. The pack, I bought four. This is the third pack I'm on, the first half of the third pack. I'm hoping I won't need them here. On my ends, I'm putting some grease on there, some blue magic grease. And then I'm using um, edge control. The rest of it. That is actually clear. I know the problem with brown, but it's clear. I put that around the parts. YouTube or watch Netflix or movies or something. Cause usually when I get caught up on things. <laughs> you know. I like to twist it that way I can make sure I'm gripping it good. I like to twist that right at the root. And this is how I do the hair. So usually I make one side a little thicker and one side a little thinner. And then I take the thicker side. And if you don't, it's no biggie. Make sure it's even. Cause I end up pulling and borrowing hair as I'm going anyway. Loop it on. And the one thing I have noticed about this hair is that it's relatively harsh um, as I'm braiding. Um, so I'm hoping, this is my first time using this hair. I've also used another one and it wasn't this harsh when I was braiding. And so when you move your hands around, make sure you check to make sure where the hair was going and that you don't start creating a different um, um, braid like you don't over loop it or something because I did I did do that in a few spots and I'm like no let me make sure I check them when I flip my hands over because you'll want to keep going in the direction you think it's in but you actually miss one thread of the braid so and my hair is actually been blending fairly well with this though like the ends has been um, blending fairly well. Um, making sure to pull as I braid down, especially when I get near the ends and then borrow some hair here. Um, there's just, especially after you finish up with your hair, you'll notice that uh, one may be a little bit smaller or whatever. You don't want your braid to look lopsided. So. And this helps to lock the braid in because I'm going to dip it at the end. <clears throat> so borrowing hair from me tends to kind of lock it in because if it does tend to unravel a little bit. It won't go that far because you you borrowed hair, so it's kind of locking it a little bit. So I usually don't have issues with mine unraveling. So 
after. I also use a different hair typically. If I wanted to try something a little bit different. And the hair that I normally buy doesn't have a blend of 1B30. And I wanted a blend of 1B30. And not just buying packs of 1B and packs of 30. I wanted it to be more or less all over a lighter color in my head. So yeah, that's how that works. But I'm I'm like regretting not making them longer because I know I'm gonna wear this up in the bun. And I'm regretting not making not in not having made them longer. And this is already split for me, ready to go. Look at the two pieces. And as you can see, I have just this, which is probably gonna be like two to three more rows. Hey, I think I might like doing these big ones because it won't take as long. Um, but I've already said next time I'm not cutting the hair the way they can come down to at least like my waist. I think I'll like that better. But for this time, we're gonna leave this be and keep it rolling with this length and yeah, see how it goes. So I'll see you guys in another one.